Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Dia Davidson. And I'm Chris Goodman. We continue to learn new details about a deadly crash that shut down part of Interstate 75 for nearly 12 hours in Lexington. It all happened last night on Interstate 75 near mile marker 110. We're told three vehicles were involved and three people were killed in the crash. Carolina Buchek has the latest. It's our LEXAT Big Story today. <laughs> Accident reconstruction spent hours out on I-75 trying to figure out what exactly happened. And Lexington police say this fiery crash has many different layers to it. They say it started off as a police chase in Clark County. It ended up with a driver going down the interstate the wrong way, a big crash, and then three people dead. And all of this happened around 10 15 last night. Lexington police say Winchester police were after a Ford F-150 and that truck did not stop. Police say 42 year old Tammy Rodriguez was driving when she merged from 64 West to 75 North and that's when police say she made an abrupt U-turn driving in the wrong direction in the northbound lanes. Police say she had two people in the truck with her and she eventually had two cars. First, it was a head on crash with a Chevy Sonic. Then she hit a Jeep, causing it to roll over. And in this mess, three people died. Police say both the driver and the passenger in that Chevy Sonic were killed. They are 26 year old Taylor Denise Blevins and 20 year old Caitlin Danielle Bailey. They are both from Georgetown and in the truck. One passenger died, 35 year old Debbie Lynn Bevins of Pikeville. The other passenger was taken to the hospital with life threatening injuries. Now in that Jeep, police say the driver was hurt, but is expected to survive at this time. Now, as far as the driver of the truck goes, Rodriguez, police say she was also hurt, but is expected to survive. However, she has been charged with a DUI and operating without a license in Lexington, Carolina Buchuk, LEXAT News.